Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's talk about what we call the third angle theorem or the third angles theorem, however you want to uh, say that. And here is kind of an interesting theorem. What it states is as follows. If two angles of one triangle are congruent to two angles of another triangle, then the third angle of the first triangle must also be congruent to the third angle of the other triangle. Now, in a way that makes a lot of sense, because when you think about it, let's say you know the measure of angle A and the measure of angle B. And let's say they add up to some value, let's say a, a hundred degrees together. Well, that means that the third angle must be 180 degrees minus the sum of the measures of these two angles. And of course, that's true for the other triangle. If these two me the measures of these two angles are equal to the measures of these two angles, in other words, if those two angles are those two sets of corresponding angles are congruent then obviously the third angle in each of the triangle must be 180 degrees minus the sum of the measures of the other two and therefore they must be the same seems kind of obvious but it needs to be stated in some sort of theorem so there it is the third angle theorem and here we can say that if the measure of angle a is congruent to the measure of angle d right here and the measure of angle B is congruent to the measure of angle E, then we know that the measure of angle C must be congruent to the measure of angle F. So it's clear that that has to be the case, but then realizing that this is a very handy theorem because that way we can always find an angle if the other two angles are known. So a very handy theorem and let's go for an example to show you on the next video of how we would apply that to a particular situation.